Welcome to Hat Tips with Lawrence Gold. Today we're looking at how to keep your hats clean and how to maintain them to keep them looking fresh and in great condition for years to come. With the proper care, a good hat from quality materials will last you a lifetime. For felt hats, a good brushing every now and then is really all it takes. You'll want to brush counterclockwise as this is the way the felt is made. If you have something a bit more stubborn on the hat, it's okay to brush the other way to try and get it out of the felt as long as you finish off with a good brushing in a counterclockwise direction. Never use water or any kind of soap to try and wash something off your hat. You'll end up ruining the shape. Let any wet stains like mud or bird droppings dry completely. Then in most cases, it can be brushed right off. Stains that don't come out by brushing can often be dissolved using alcohol. Just a tiny amount of 99% clean ethanol or similar on a Q-tip. But it depends on the type of stain. So if you have a specific stain on your hat, leave a comment and I'll tell you what to do. But prevention is really key. So be mindful of where you place your hat to avoid accidents and spills. And like I mentioned last week, avoid grabbing your hat by the crown if you want to keep it in its original shape for as long as possible. A quality fur felt hat, especially with a high beaver content, can take any kind of weather, even a heavy downpour. If your hat gets wet, just lightly shake off any excess water, check to see that everything looks fine. If the crown has been pinched, check to see if the crown is in its original shape. Then set it down to dry. Always let your hats dry naturally at room temperature, as they will shrink if you try to force the drying process by adding heat. Straw hats can handle some amount of rain, but they shouldn't be exposed to it too often. If you can avoid getting your straw hats wet, that is ideal. Dirt and dust can be brushed off using a hat brush, just like with felt hats. To keep your hats looking their best, store them properly, as we discussed in last week's episode. But by following these cleaning and maintenance tips, you can make sure that your hats stay in excellent condition for many years. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found it useful. I'll be back next week with another hat tip.